accelerometer, and gyroscope. This module is a breakout board for the MPU-6050MEMS. That is the whew, micro electromechanical, that's a huge word, systems. That features a three axis gyroscope, a three axis accelerometer, a digital motion processor, DMP, and a temperature sensor. Whew. Anyone ever play Mario Kart Wii? Remember those steering wheel accessories that you could use to steer your cart? Um, technically the accessory wasn't the gyroscope, but it was the controller had one built in. But anyway, that's a gyroscope for you. If you've ever played Wii Bowling and then tried to send it faster or slower or whatever, um, that's determined by using an accelerometer. Anyway, the wiring will be pretty simple. 5 volt will be going to VCC, ground will be going to ground, again, who could have guessed those ones. 20 will be going to SDA, and 21 will be going to SCL, and that is down here, 20, 21, here and here. You can also take a reference at the wiring diagram that will be flashed on screen and down below. I'm assuming you're on our course page. Um, we'll also have code that will be on the course page and on our GitHub, so you can take a look at those. So let's make sure our board is plugged in, ta-da, and then let's go and select the board and continue by hitting upload. Now let's check the baud rate that we specified, 115, 200, so that when I go to the serial monitor, I can then read off of the correct plot point. So I'm gonna open up, the, up this full screen because it's a little bit long of a line. And uh, as you can see, the X, Y, and Z value for the accelerometer, gyroscope, and the temperature readings are all being displayed and updated in real time. So I'm going to lift it like this and it is facing like straight up and the values are reading. Wow, that's interesting. It says it is currently in Celsius, 25 point, about one nine or so in the room, 25 ish degrees. What if I like move it really fast like this, right? Hey, look at that. He he he. So over here you can see it has the accelerometer X value, accelerometer Y value, and then it has the accelerometer Z value, the temperature, the gyroscope X, the gyroscope Y, and the gyroscope Z value. And this is what it's currently reading off of the SCL, SDA um, pins on the accelerometer. Obviously, if you pick it up and play with it, it will change a lot of those values up. As you can see, it's now like thinking I'm moving like crazy or something and changing the gyroscope value and accelerometer values accordingly. Now it's just going crazy. I'm just gonna shake it a bunch. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, that should be just about it for the gyroscope accelerometer. Thanks.